So we're going to look at the last question from the Edexcel non-calculator paper this year, which appears to have got quite a few people confused. So the question is, the diagram is made of three circles, each of radius four centimetres. The centre of the circles are A, B and C, such that ABC is a straight line. We need to work out the total area of the two shaded regions and give our answer in terms of pi. So the way we are going to attack this, we're only going to use GCSE methods, There's no A level, no degree level bits, just GCSE. We are going to start by looking at the part at the top, which I've labeled as one. Once we've worked this out, we can finish the question from there. If we add in this sector here with the red line, we can see that the sector is made up of one, the blue area, and these two segments on each side. Now, if we can work out the area of that sector and the segments, then we're almost there. What we can also see is that we've got two equilateral triangles here. We know they're equilateral because each of their edges is a radius of at least one of the circles. So each edge is four centimeters, and because they're equilateral, each angle is 60 degrees. Now, if I put in this sector here with the purple line, we can see that this sector is made up of the segment that we're trying to find and the equilateral triangle. So if we can work out the areas of this sector and this triangle, then we've got the segment. So the sector, using our usual formula for the area of a sector, which is pi r squared, times by the angle at the center over 360. So in this case, that is pi times four squared times 60 over 360, which is 16 pi times a sixth, or eight pi over three. So that's our purple sector. We now need to work out the area of the equilateral triangle. Well, we've got angles. We know they're 60 degrees. So we're gonna use the formula that area equals half AB sine C. So in this case, the area of that triangle is a half times four times four times sine 60. Now we need to know that sine 60 is root three over two. So simplifying this gives us the area is four root three. So the segment that we're looking for is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So eight pi over three minus four root three. We've now got the segments that we need. So we're gonna look at the sector that contains area one. Well, if I put my 60 degrees in there for the other equilateral triangle, we can now see that we've got angles on a straight line. So the base angle of this sector must be 180 minus 260s. So that must also be 60 degrees. So this red sector that we've got here at the top is identical to the purple one. It's got an angle of 60 degrees. It's got two sides of four centimeters. So its area is also eight pi over three. So the area of one equals this eight pi over three from the sector minus two lots of the segment area, eight pi over three minus four root three. This simplifies to eight root three minus eight pi over three. Now by symmetry, we can see that the bottom shaded region is exactly the same as the top one. So the total area that we need is two times the area that we've just calculated. So it's 16 root three minus 16 pi over three. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.